Hello there, it's Marco from Open Automation here. And in this video, we are going to see how to build the cloud data loader project using the particle photon. So we are going to see how to build the project, how to make it work, so how to configure it. And finally, how to visualize live measurements being done in the cloud. So let's start now. So for this project, you are going to need uh, a breadboard with a particle photon on it. You're also going to need a DHT11 sensor and um, resistor, and finally a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a photocell, and of course a bunch of jumper tables. So we are first going to see how to assemble the project. So simply place the DHT sensor on the breadboard, then place the photocell in series with the resistor, just like this. Now the photocell, let's do it. I can also already place the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor between pin number one and two of the DHT sensor. Now we are going to connect the power. So what I want to do is to connect the photon to these uh, uh, two power lines over there. So the red one will be connected to the photon 3.3 volt. And the blue one will be connected to the photon ground, which is just here. So now let's go ahead and connect the photo cell. So this side of the resistor goes to the ground. Then the photo cell, the free pin here is going to uh, the red power rail, so the 3.3 volt of the photon. And finally, this central pin over there is going to the A0 pin of the photon. And let's end by creating the DHT sensor. So this pin here is um, the positive power supply that goes to the red power rail. This last pin of the sensor uh, goes to the blue power rail, so to the ground. And finally, it's getting a bit crowded, but pin number two here goes to pin D5 of the photon. This was for the assembly of the project. We are now going to move to configuring the project using the particle website. So when you first open the build.particle.io website, this is what you will get. This is where you can check all your code, all your files, and actually write some code and also um, program the device. So in this part, we are going to actually program the device and also see it in action. Here, we already have the same code loaded as in the Open Home Automation website, so it's ready to use. I just put a longer delay here, so there is no me constant uh, measurements being done. But first, we want to select which device we're going to program. So just go in Devices. Um, mine is called Nawal Pizza. So uh, as you can see, there is a little star, it means it's selected. So I can go back to my code. Uh, I just want to make sure everything is okay, so I will verify the code. That works. And now I will go ahead and flash the device. So your device should now be blinking magenta, meaning it's been reprogrammed and you can see it's successful. So you just need to wait a bit and the device will restart. Yeah, and my device is now ready again and connected to the network. So now we just need to go ahead to the particle dashboard to make sure that um, data is actually been recorded. So I just go over there. And as you can see, uh, the device came offline and online again, means it has been reprogrammed. And it already made some sets of measurements. So light level was 82%, humidity at 35%, and 23 uh, degrees Celsius. And this will make basically measurements every minute now. So this is already the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, you will find 
all the detailed instructions and the code for this project on the corresponding article on the Open Home Automation website, so don't hesitate to visit it. Also, if you have any comments or feedback on this project, you can just leave a comment there on YouTube or also leave a comment on the website. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.